Hi okay, everybody, this is Ms. Cox. Today I'm going to be showing you how to complete the Constellation Maker Challenge. So the Constellation Maker Challenge has stars that are created using the two variables X positions and Y positions. But the great thing about these are they're going to be arrays. So instead of just having one variable, they're going to have, a well, instead of just being one value, they're going to have several different values stored inside one variable called an array. So let's go ahead and do it. It says, uh, blah, 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 blah. add another star by adding a new number to each array. So we're just going to add a new number. We're going to like 300, comma, 300, or 400. Let's do 300 so we can see it. Now I should see my second star. Great. And that's because these first two numbers are used for the first star, and then these two numbers are being used for the second star. Let's go onward. Now here's the fun part. We're going to make it more dynamic, so when you click on the screen, um, a mouse, a mouse, a star appears. So let's go ahead. We're going to be putting this part in down here. So let's see. So I think there's different ways to do this. One way would be to include an if statement, which I just tried, and I erased because it says you don't need to do it. Well, it's kind of annoying because you can do it that way, but another way to do it is by using this creation of a variable mouse clicked. So here, we're going to say var mouse clicked. So basically, when the mouse is clicked, do this. And then what we want it to do is change the, or basically add two x positions here. We want to add to that. And we want to add on the end dot push because we're basically saying add this number onto the end. And we're going to use x, what is it? x, what is it? x position? No, it's a mouse x, sorry. Mouse x. And then we're going to change y positions to add on to that the mouse y number. And then. And then we're going to have it draw the stars. So I'm going to stick that on here. Now let's try it. Oh, where's my... I'm missing a bracket. It took me a minute to figure out what my problem was. Um, my problem here is... I actually... Let's see. I need the bracket from here. I want to connect that to this bracket. Oh, no, I'm sorry. This is a uh, The brackets get confusing. So right now... This bracket is connected to this bracket. I need another bracket in here because I want to separate the draw stars function. I want to separate that from the mouse click function down here. Now, there we go. Now, I don't know why it was white there, but every time I click, there's a new star. Woohoo! Beautiful. Hopefully, that helps you guys. I'm sorry for my slip ups at the end there. But, um, you know, sometimes you got to get through little issues that come up and, uh, you know, figure things out. That's part of coding is, you know, trying to figure out how to make the best solution. So with that, good luck.